Today, dear viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange, British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. The Columbia Arena record now, uh, 1729, The Goalkeeper by W. Hargreaves, sung or spoken by George Gilby. Comic. Well, a bit of old musical and some football history as well, no doubt. Here we go. By 20 goals to two. We started with 11 men, and our time we had five. And now the doctors tell me I'm the only man alive. Well, it's all dear me. What a terrible time I've had. I must have been up the pole. I'm sorry that I can go mail to play without a ball. It really is a sin. What's the use of me kicking it out of the kicking it in? I may tell you in our team we've got what you call a crack player. A man who knows how to play. I don't want to say it's me, but he ain't in the other ten that's not here. The bed of the club is Stouty. Everybody's favourite, Stouty. When you hear the spectators cheer and applaud, that's Stouty. When the critical moment arrives and all eyes are placed on one man, that's Stouty. I might as well tell you my name, Stouty. You see, it was like this. There were the goalposts and there was the next. That was to keep the other team from pushing me off the field. And there was the ground, when you couldn't see the ground after the rain for pools of water. So I got a man to give me a greasy preparation. I had a pound and a half of margarine rubbed on my head, two pounds and a half of Vaseline rubbed on my chest, and four pounds and a half of tallow rubbed on my word you should have seen me. Well, I look more like a teller candle than a goalkeeper. We kicked off. Our side got the ball and we can run in our team. Well, I've done a bit of running in my time. Look when we won the cup. Well, we didn't exactly win it, but I had it. And you don't get cups for nothing. You've either got to run or do time. Look here where we are doing all the time. Our club's a wonderful club. Look at the goalkeeper. He gets all the worst of it. I stand between two sticks. They kick the ball in, I kick and fist it out. If I try to stop it, they jump on me. If I stand to one side and let it go through the same trouble, I get the sack, and what are you going to do? The man with the biggest boot is considered the best player. But the man who plays a burden on his game and hurts no one, they shove him in the second team. I've never been in the second team yet. And the first class association, I've been right through the league. Born at Blackburn, educated at Bolton, I became a wanderer. Started life as a builder. Went to Sunderland to build a new castle in Middlesbrough. Met the missus at Woolwich Arsenal. Went to Sheffield United. Left Sheffield Wednesday and drove to Chelsea. On our honeymoon, where we were chased by the wolves through Knox Forest into Knox County. We escaped to Liverpool after living on Everton Coffee for a week. We drove through Manchester City on our way to Derby County where we rested at a small east in Birmingham called Preston North End to bury a relation who has left me a house near Tottenham Oxford where I mean to retire and call it Aston Villa. But it's old DMV. What a terrible time I've had. I must have been up the pole. I'm sorry that I can go to play without the ball, it really is a sin. What do you to be kicking it out and they keep kicking it in? Gonna give it a ball together, go keeping it off. After this match. Well, viewers, that was a classic of the British musical. And I can't help thinking he mentioned every single football team around at that time, which is about, what, 1912. Amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.